Well, I don't know if you can see me or not, but I'm hunting a buddy of mine's property. It's a farm. I walked in that field, spooked three of them up, got in the stand up here, which I love, by the way, and I had three of them come running right through there, right behind the tree, and shoot that away. I stopped one of them out there about 30 yards, but it was behind that limb right there. Anyway, I'm sitting here, not even probably 40 minutes, 35 minutes, and I'm playing on my phone. And about 20 yards, right about there, that tree, I hear some crunching. Well, I look up, daggone fan of flipping dough sitting there eating. Thinking, that's a sneaky little rascal. Well, I stand up. She starts to walk <laughs> that direction. There's a big tree right here, which you've got my bow hanging in it. And there's a gigantic tree right there, which is about 10 yards out. She got right there. I was already drawn back when she was behind that tree. She stepped out, and I nailed it 10 yards, double lung shot, and who knows what else. You'll see some logs laying right there. And in the ground right there is my arrow, right about the top of my finger. She ran 10 yards, and right behind that brush, died within a few, probably... 45 seconds that was it she stopped moving g5 t3 broadhead is absolutely the bomb that's the second deer i've shot this year with the g5 t3 the first one died where it stood and the second one made it 10 yards so anyway i'm going to stop this and we get down where i hit it and show you how far my arrow is buried into the ground after doing a pass through and then we'll show you how far the deer walked anyway see you in a second